What's going on YouTube? Alright, so I've got a box set in here and within this box is my cleaning crew. I checked out a lot of websites to try to decide who I wanted to order from and after comparing prices and shipping costs I went with LiveAquaria.com They not only were the cheapest price on the cruise but they also have the shipping cost already in their price of the animals which surprised me very much by their their prices already being cheaper than their other websites and then you know they also offer free shipping but let's get this open and I'll let you know or let you see what everything looks like okay so the first thing I see when I open the box is they've got directions for step-by-step -step acclimation which uh, is it looks like the drip method which is what I do already but it, it's pretty nice to to know what if you're new to this getting animals it, it's nice to know what to do then it also looks like a nice uh, uh, heavy duty styrofoam box which I did not have to pay extra for it just came with it looks like within the box we've got packing peanuts to take any uh, extra space up we've got a nice big heat pack which is very warm um, it, it feels very nice and warm in here so I've got a bag of Narcissus snails got ten of those got 10 red hermit crabs got 10 spiral trochus snails got a peppermint shrimp hopefully get rid of that aptasia got one emerald crab there's the other porcelain so got two porcelains Sure hope that's how that's supposed to look, but that's a, a cucumber, lettuce nudie branch, or sea slug. Then we've got some uh, blue hermit crabs. Actually it looks like they might have put more than 12 in there, but that's how many supposed to be in there. Okay, so as the packing goes, I consider it very well from what I've got from other shippers. I would also probably go as far as saying it was one of the best packaging. Um, I, I would say it and AquariumFish.net were the two best. They're about equal right now. So I'll get this stuff dripping and hopefully uh, let, let you guys see it in the tank. Okay, so I've got the crabs in the tank now. The bigger ones right here are the red-legged, the smaller guys are the blues. So I've got 12 of these. Actually the box looked like there was quite a bit more than 12. And I've got 10 of these guys. Then here's the porcelain crabs. Got two of those. And over here, that's the emerald. I only got one of him to start off with. Okay, so here's the snails. Um, it looks like I might have to help flip some over. But we've got the trochus snails and the narcissus. Got ten of each of those. There's the the cucumber. I'll probably need to uh, get in there and get him on the sand. The the current kind of carried him over there as I dumped him out of the cup. It's kind of hard to tell, but right there, kind of where that tang was back there. Actually, it's right in front of the tang right now. That's the uh, green sea slug or lettuce nudie branch. But I've got everything in the tank right now. I'm not sure where the peppermint shrimp went. 
So, I'll need to, I guess, keep looking for him. I'll try to get a shot of him. But, I'll let you know how everything's doing after a while. Um, I'll wait several hours before I turn on the lights, and then maybe I'll be able to get a better shot of everything. Okay, here's a better picture of the sleece slug, or lettuce nudii branch. It's pretty cool. Um, takes a long time to move. He's probably been sitting in that spot for, well, moving across that spot for about 20 minutes. But, very interesting. Okay, if you look right there in those rocks, you can see the sea cucumber kinda wiggling his way through the uh, live rock. I was under the impression that those guys stayed in the sand, but apparently that is not the case. Because since I've got him, I have only seen him one time on the sand, and that was just briefly. The rest of the time he has been up in the rocks and this is really the first time I've even been able to get close to getting him on camera. So I thought this was pretty crazy. The sea cucumber on the back of the tank up on the glass. It's the first time I've seen him not crawling around in the rocks but yet he's still not on the sand. He's on a piece of glass. So, it's pretty crazy. So again, another angle of the sea cucumber on the back of the glass. Just not what I was expecting from him. Here's the emerald crab. Kind of back behind that rock. Getting him some food. I just threw some food in there, so that's what you see floating around. So there's one porcelain crab. There's the second one. First time I've seen them both since I've done the uh, drip acclimation and put them in the tank. That's pretty much all the new stuff I've got lately. I'll throw this video together and show you guys everything. But uh, my uh, emerald crab is over there. Sorry, I've got stuff on the glass. I need to get it cleaned off. But I've just been doing so much, you know, with the tank right now. I just clean it, and it like a day later, I've got it dirty again. So far, this is the tank. I think uh. I think this is the fifth or sixth week I've had it, and so far it's uh it's been pretty cool. I'm liking it. So there's a firefish again, but hopefully this week I'll be able to get a clownfish. I think I might get a, a sand sifting starfish. Um thinking about getting a couple corals, um, a, a toadstool, and not really for sure after that, but leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, and hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.